Hey eBay sellers, it's Suzanne. Thanks for coming back for another video. And today I'm going to try something new and do my version of a haul video. Um, there's lots of different ways to do this, but what I'm going to do, and I'm going to start a playlist on this, so eventually you can just uh, watch them one after the other. Um, but I've got my list here of everything I bought, how much I paid for it, I've already done the research of how I'm going to price it, and my projected profit. I'm going to go over each item with you and show you why I bought this particular item and you know give you a little bit of a uh, some insight from an experienced seller on why I bought this, why I think it will sell. Now one thing um, about me that's different than some other people on YouTube is I don't go to the bins. Uh, we just don't have them here in Atlanta and I don't think I would even do it. I have been to thrift store, clearance days, half price days, all that kind of stuff and it's it's just too chaotic. I just can't concentrate. Um, I just prefer a more relaxed environment where I can take my time to shop and pick out higher profit items and that's just the way I choose to do my business. So um, you know, no way is right or wrong, it's whatever works for you. So yesterday I went to a Goodwill in an Atlanta suburb and um, I was there for three hours and it was at night before they closed. So I was there from 5.30 to 8.30 and I was the only person in the store most of the time. Uh, the employees were there putting stuff out and, you know, I was kind of chatting with them while I was shopping. But um, I had the store to myself, so you just can't beat that. But also what I'm going to do um, on these videos is I will enclose a copy, not enclose, uh, give you a link to a copy of this sheet so that you can uh, you know, download it, print it out, whatever you want to do to help you learn more about what to buy and why. And you may even want to pause the video right here and uh, pull up that download that's underneath the video so that you can make notes on it if you want. Because I'm really about helping you uh, learn this, giving you materials. You know, I'm a, a pen and paper person. I don't have everything in my phone. I just, I just don't do it that way. So I thought maybe attaching a document to the video where you can download it um, will help you remember what you saw in the video and you can make some notes on that. So that being said, um, let's see how this works. Tell me if you like it this way or not, but I'm going to go over what I bought, how much I paid, what I think I can sell it for based on the research, realistic prices, my profit per item, and then all the totals. And I have 22 items, so um, we'll see how this goes. Okay, so first item is these Daisy Fuentes hair extensions. I paid $1.51 for these, so I'm going to give you my cost with tax because tax here is 6%. So $1.60, and um, these come in all different colors, and these were, I think, a QVC special item. That's what I'm finding in my research. And according to my research, I should be able to sell these for $35, so the profit would be $28.15 for hair extensions. Okay, the next item is, um, I found this in the scarf bin uh, that's on the top of the racks, and I really didn't even know what it was. It's like, a, I was like, is this a skirt? Is this a tube top? You know, what is it? It's, uh, it's beautiful. It's sparkly and um, thick. I think it's wool. But here's the, here's the reason I got it. Um, Kate Spade, new with tag. It's actually a neck warmer so you can roll it down like a turtleneck wear it like a scarf you know all bunched up to be really um, fashionable and warm so this was a um, dollar so total cost was 106 and they're selling on eBay for 39 so my profit on this one item would be 32.15 I expect this to go pretty quickly because um, it's Kate Spade new with tag so that was fun Okay, the next item is this Lily Pulitzer top, and you can see there, it's kind of like a, it's not a jacket, but it's like an athletic top. There's pockets, and it's kind of a thick, it's not really fleece, it's like a thick, stretchy material. Um, so we all love Lily and knows that 
sells well. This was uh, full price. The top skirts, um, pants are all $5.99, so with tax, that's $6.35. And according to my research, I should be able to sell this for $39. So my profit would be $26.80. So I'm okay paying six, seven dollars for something when my profit can be more than $20 on it. So we will see on that. Um, this is a brand I had not heard of, but thought it might be anthropology, and I looked it up and it was. I have no idea how to pronounce that. So if you know, uh, ple plion, plion, I'm not sure. Um, but this is a very cool looking cold shoulder top. It's got the cold shoulder cut out there with some smocking. It has the bell-shaped sleeves, and it's kind of a pinstripe. All these great keywords. Pinstripe, I haven't, you know, washed anything yet, so that's, it's not washed or steamed. Um, so it's just, it's a nice lightweight material. This was $6.35, it was full price, and I'm gonna ask $39 for it, so my profit, sh uh, if I get that, is $26.80. Okay, the next item is what a great bread and butter item. Chico's Travelers Size 3 Long Skirt. And um, this has a slit up the side. I mean, this is just your basic Chico's Travelers Long Skirt. Can't get any more basic than that. Um, I always pick up Chico Size 3, you know, if it's even if it's full price, because it will sell pretty fast. So this was $6.35, and the asking, my asking price is going to be $39, so that will be a profit of $26.80 once it sells. Now, my profit calculation is based on, um, I just subtracted 15% uh, for fees, just to make it an easy calculation. So the asking price minus the cost minus 15% for fees. Shipping is usually a wash um, because I do calculated shipping. Or if I do um, it in a padded flat rate mailer, I do flat rate of seven dollars. Um, so that usually comes out even. So that's how I'm getting my uh, profit number. Okay, the next item is a Vocal brand shirt. Uh, actually, this is a really cool top, um, and this is a great brand. I didn't know about this. I've been seeing it lately, and I finally stopped and looked it up, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is really high dollar. But it's like one of these distressed, destroyed type things. I mean, the hem is like, it's a shark bite hem, but it's like got strings hanging off it. And um, this I'm going to list as new without tag because it feels brand new. I mean, you can tell it's never been washed, never been worn. And it's got the, the sequin front with the cross and the wings. And there's one exactly like this that sold for $62 just uh, a short time ago. So that was full price of $635. And I'm going to ask $59, so my profit would be $43.80 if I got my asking price. Now, this is a fun brand. Um, I need to do a video on this brand for you. It's called Altered State. And this company has a, an interesting history. It started off as a Christian bookstore. And then they started adding, like, funky, kind of lacy, western clothing. It started off in uh, Bentonville. Arkansas, where Walmart started, and then they moved to Nashville, and they've got stores in Alabama, um, and they have stores in 23 states. So this is brand new with tag, and it's a cool, um, it's like a, it's a dress, with a fun ruffled hem on it, but, you know, obviously it's totally see-through, so you'd wear this over something else, like a tank top and leggings or something. So really, really pretty. Um, this was full price. The dresses are $6.99 at my Goodwill, so this um, this was $7.40 with tax. I'm going to ask $69 for this because the dresses on the website retail for $109, and they're they're kind of selling on eBay between um, you know $50 and $70. So my profit on this one item, if I get that price, would be $51.25. So we'll see how that goes. So I'm finding a lot of new with tag stuff on this haul, which is why I wanted to share that with you to show you what's out there if you just take the time to look. Um, obviously not in everybody's area. I know there's sourcing challenges in all different areas, so you just have to do what you have to do. But, <clears throat> excuse me, um, 
you know, sometimes it's worth a trip to a bigger city for a couple of days to find stuff like this that is higher dollar. Um, this brand is called Nick and Zoe, and I'm not sure if it's a Nordstrom brand or if it's just sold at Nordstrom, but this is new with tag. The price is $105, and it's a cute little denim type skirt. Um, it's not really denim, it's like a soft, silky cotton, but it's got a cute texture to it. It's kind of hard to see with the light. Um, it's got a cute texture, and it's um, it's right at the knee. So brand new with tag. This was $6.35, and I'm going to put $35 on it. Even though it has a $108 tag on it, they're just not going for more than that on eBay. So still a good profit of $23.40. This is one of my favorite brands to find, um, Tabitha. This is by Anthropology. It's a really cute cardigan sweater, bright, fun, has the pretty applique um, embroidery on the front. This was full price. I paid $6.35. I'm going to put $39 on it, and I have sold this brand enough to know I will get that. So my profit on this one item is $26.40. Really cute. Okay, now one more item with new with tag. This is Laundry by Shelly Siegel. And this has a tag with an original price of $138. And I paid full price for this, so that is $7.40. I'm going to put $59 on it. Um, so my profit, if I get that, would be $42.75. And it's just a fun these fun dresses it has the patterns um, it's polyester it's not made of silk but it's just the pattern is very eye-catching and fun and popular so I feel like um, I'm not out of line on my price there now here are the items that I only had to pay half price for our goodwill changes their color tags on um, Sunday so they, they have four colors that rotate and um, whatever's the oldest is going to be on sale 50% off and that starts on Sundays. So I was in there on a Monday and there was still plenty of half price stuff in there. So the color this week was green. They put these little things on your on the items so they'll know how long they've been there and that's their inventory system. So anyway, um, this is a Talbot's wool skirt. It's lined. It is um, it's a 16 women petite, which that's a very hard size to find. Um, petite just means it's shorter. It doesn't necessarily mean it's, you know, small. It's just shorter. It's made for shorter people. Um, so this was $3.18. I'm going to put $39 on it, so my profit will be $29.97 on this one item. Okay, this is another brand I have a video on in my... Um, women's clothing playlist and in my 100 items playlist Vince Camuto I love this brand it usually sells very well this is a top with a fun keyhole opening and it's like a faux wrap it's kind of a loose loose top um, this was three dollars and eighteen cents and I'm gonna put 29 on it so profit would be twenty one dollars and forty seven cents okay here's another half price item. One World. Uh, Macy sells this brand. It's pretty expensive, but this is a fun, um, it's got a fun design on it, and it has the the high-low, where the front is lower than the back. That's called high-low. You can put that in your title. If you go on eBay, you'll see people using that. This was $3.18. It was half price of the $6.30, $5.99 regular price, and I'm going to put $29 on this for a projected profit of $21.47 if I don't keep it because <laughs> I really like that. Um, this is a great find. I can't believe this was still there um, because Goodwill um, rotates the stuff so it's it's been in there three weeks before it gets put on 50% off so this has been sitting there almost a month and nobody bought it. Um, it's Talbot's and the price tag is $180 it's a wool skirt, size 14, again, a, a larger size. Um, 
but it's a beautiful soft brushed wool with some embroidery on it, a nice pattern. It's lined. It's a beautiful um, A-line cut, so it would look, you know, pretty with um, boots or, um, you know, nice dress shoes. And it's like I always, <laughs> I always think about, you know, who's going to buy this? And it's like, Oh, maybe somebody who works in a law office or, you know, an office where they have to dress up or maybe um, somebody's going to buy it to wear to church or um, that just always jumps in my head. of like, who's, who would buy this? Who am I shopping for? <laughs> um, next is, oh, let me, I didn't give the numbers on that one. Um, that skirt was $3.18. I'm going to put 69 on it and that would be a profit of $55.47 on one item. Okay, so next I have a Chico's top, and if this had been full price, I would not have bought it. I would not pay $6 for just regular Chico's if it's not Traveler's, if it's not a big size. Um, but this just looked cool. It was half price, so I'm going to, um, this was $3.18. I'm going to put $24 on it for a profit of $17.22. So I can live with that. Um, the next item is a fun... Adidas Climalite, which is the front, which is the back. It's an Adidas Climalite tennis skirt, and it has the, the shorts underneath. So I don't buy these tennis skirts, exercise skirts, unless they have the shorts built in because um, for me, they just don't sell. That's what people want are the shorts built in. And if it's a tennis skirt, oh, and this does have it, and it has the little um, the ball pocket, on the shorts because like you're wearing it and you would stick your tennis ball up in here um, that's a good seller a good selling point too so make sure you you note that in your listing and put it um, in your pictures take pictures of the ball pocket because tennis players like that um, so this was oh, I didn't tell you what size it is this one of the reasons I bought it it's like an extra large so bigger sizes are great um, because they're just hard to find uh, this was $3.18. I'm going to put $29 on it, so I'm expecting a profit of $21.47 when it sells. And I fully expect these, prob things, these things might take six months to sell, but I'm totally okay with that because where else can you spend $3 and get a return of $30 in such a short time? There's just nowhere. You can't do that anywhere else but eBay unless you're doing something illegal <laughs> that I'm aware of because um, if... If there was something legal you could do to make this much money this fast, um, I'm sure we'd be all over it. But um, So I'm okay to wait, and that's just where I'm at in my business. I don't have to turn it over that fast. Okay, this next one is Jones, New York. This also has a tag. This has a price tag of $89. Now, let me just make a note about this kind of price tag where you've got the regular retail and then a markdown on it. What I do in my listings is say, new with tag, original retail price of whatever it is. And, you know, they're going to see, yeah, it was marked down. But that doesn't matter. You have it. If they want it, they can pay your price. Um, of course, you have to price it um, in line with what is they're selling for. You can't just take like a percentage of the retail price and say, oh, well, the, the retail price was 89, so I'm going to charge 75. You know, I'm going to charge 75% of the full retail, whatever that would be. Um, it doesn't work like that. You have to look at the completeds, see what the item is selling for, and then price it. So sometimes when you have a, a tag like this that has the original retail, prices could be selling for more than that. If it's an item in short supply, an item that's hard to find, it's all about what a buyer will pay. And all buyers are different. They all have different motivations for buying things. Some might, you know, have had an item just like that that they loved and they had it for 10 years and they cannot find another one. And they'll pay double what retail is. Or, you know, maybe not. So um, I get this question all the time. If I'm selling something new with tag, what percentage of it do I charge? whatever the market will bear. You know, it's the same thing. It's like you're selling your house. Um, you look at the comps, what other homes have sold for in your area, and it could be more than you paid. It could be less than you paid. Just depends on the market. So there's, you just have to check completeds and see. So anyway, this is a skirt. 
uh, size 14. It is just what I call a career skirt. It's just a pencil skirt. It's lined, um, has a kick pleat in the back. Very nice construction. It's worsted wool, which is like a smooth um, wool almost. It's a little thicker than gabardine, but um, you know, just your basic career skirt. Uh, this was $3.18. I'm gonna put 45 on it. So that would be a profit of $35.07 if I get that price. Okay, and this is a fun little one here. This is a scrub top that has, um, you know, for breast cancer awareness, it's got like cure and love and hope and, um, but it also has hearts on it. So this is, um, I'm gonna market this for Valentine's Day. Um, I paid $2.30. I'm gonna put 24 on it because today is January 16th. So Valentine's Day is less than a month away. And this will, this will sell fast because um, these seasonal scrub tops do pretty well. So if I get my price, my profit would be $18.10, which is not bad. That's like almost a tank of gas for me. So I'll take it. Um, next is a brand called Ink International Concepts. This is a fun halter dress. Um, I just like the print. This is popular right now with this kind of print as well as the halter. So what if we're in January? Um, people still live where it's warm in Australia. It's burning hot. If you are in Australia in January and you're watching this, tell us about your weather because Americans forget about you. <laughs> and this is why you guys should ship international because it doesn't matter what season it is. Your stuff's going to go where it needs to go for that person to wear it. You've got people going on cruises, going to resorts in Mexico, you know, whatever. Um, you can still list summer stuff in the winter. Um, I forgot to tell you my numbers on that. $3.70, because that was a dress that was half price. And I'm gonna put 24 on it. And so my profit would be $20.95. Now we've got a brand that I did not know this was, had a sub brand, it's, it's Banana Republic, but it's called the Millie Collection. And this is just another line of their clothing. And this is just a fun um, sleeveless dress. It's got a cute zipper up the back, exposed zipper. Um, it's a really soft cotton. And one just like this sold for 36, but it was a bigger size. So I paid $3.70. I'm gonna put 29 on this and my profit will be $20.95. And let's see here, we've got, um, I've got Easter in mind for this, and maybe Valentine's, I don't know. Um, this is a Calvin Klein dress, and I bought this because it was 50% off, and it's got a lot of interesting texture to it. Um, it's got these, uh, I don't know what you call this, these, uh, it's not really pleats, it's just kind of made with these extra strips of fabric but it's, it's very flattering, um, it's lined, the torso is lined, and there are um, pads in the, the bra area, and you can just tell it's, it's very well tailored. Um, I'll do another video on some of the tailoring stuff to look for so that you will know something's expensive as soon as you touch it and look at it. There's certain clues that help you identify more expensive items. But you know, I, I sell this kind of stuff all the time, just these conservative type dresses. I see somebody wearing this to church on Easter or, um, you know, like a, a luncheon or something like that, as I imagine who's going to buy this. Um, $3.70. I'm going to put $29 on it, so my profit would be $20.95. And the last item of this haul is a White House Black Market skirt. This is a fun kind of tulip it's got a tulip edge on the bottom, like it, it flares out. So you could call it uh, flared or tulip. Um, it's very stretchy. I've done well with this. The, you wanna put stretch in your title, stretch or stretchy. People look for that because, I mean, what clothing fits somebody perfectly? Everybody needs a little bit of give to, to wear clothing, I guess. Um, $3.70. So asking price is $19, so my profit would be $12.45. Um, not the highest profit I like, but I know this will be easy to sell because it's, it's just um, 
it's what I call a wardrobe staple. It's, it's something that can mix and match and go with lots of different outfits. So anyway, total numbers. The cost of all these items is uh, $94.86. My project projected um, asking price slash sales would be $841. And my profit, which is the most important number you should always look at, is uh, $619.99. So I spent three hours shopping. It's probably going to take me another three hours to get everything listed. So that'll be a six hour time investment to make a profit of $619, along with waiting for things to sell. So when you refine your business this way and you pick more expensive items, your um, earnings per hour goes up. And that's one thing I want you guys to understand is that yes, it takes longer in the thrift store to find the higher profit items, but you can either spend your time looking for higher profit items and less time listing or the other way around. And for me, after this is my 15th year doing eBay, um, this is just where I'm at and I'm really focusing on it this year. My average sale pri uh, profit per item has been right around $22 and I really want to get that higher this year because it's possible. Um, there's no... I mean, I live in a great city where there's just tons and tons of stuff everywhere. And um, again, I really encourage you, if you live in a place where it's hard to find inventory, that you figure out a way to travel to a bigger city. Um, it, it can be a business expense, obviously. Um, and, you know, spend a couple of days and just load up on higher profit items because, um, I see you guys out there just spinning your wheels and trying to do so much every day and you're selling stuff for $10, $15. And that may be your business model because all you have is the bins. I totally get that. But for others of you that may have, um, you know, other resources or ways to get to a bigger city or you live in a big city, this is what's possible. This is absolutely what's possible. So um, think about it. If you're making $100 an hour, basically, for your eBay work, now that doesn't include shipping. Um, you're going to have to add that on. And you're working 30 hours a week. That could be huge if you're picking the right stuff. So would love your feedback on this video. If you like this format, um, if you hate it, I won't do it anymore. <laughs> but I feel like I wanted to show you my haul because I'm always encouraging you to buy the higher profit items. I know a lot of you look at my store to see what I'm listing and that kind of thing. And I'm a little behind on where I want to be on my store because of all the other things I do. But um, that's what also one of my goals for 2018 is to get my store built up and producing like it should be because I love this business and I've missed this business. I've let some of my writing jobs go because I just don't enjoy that anymore. And I want to be out in the trenches, shopping, finding these great things, learning about what to sell and helping you guys make more money too. So I'd love your comments below. Don't forget to look for the download link um, to get this document so you can see what all these brands are and, and you know, maybe put together something for yourself, um, you know, a look for list or, you know, whatever it is you want to do to help you learn because eBay just has unlimited potential. It really does. And, you know, I want you guys to be successful and be able to make money doing this fun business the way I do. So thanks so much for watching and have a profitable and productive day on eBay. Bye.